because he's not Bad fine. mistake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bad mistake. Gonna um, space. Yes, you can. What did I miss? <laughs> Ooh. Actually, hold on. I need to look something up real quick. Can they um, turn invisible? No. Well, maybe you don't know that. <laughs> um. So, um. I'm not gonna count it now because I've got it well. But you just now remember that you have this really beautiful proper axe, Stolgig. And you just don't want to use these hand axes anymore. They're gross. Uh, also the first attack completely knocks that guy out. Actually, no, the second does it, sorry. You have 13. Um, if you're not using your big axe, you have disadvantage on attack rolls. <laughs> Yep. I forgot about it. I'm and you just. I'll be honest, I haven't read the description that much. It's so good. Spoiled so much. Missed the important so part. <laughs> Missed the important part. Okay. Um, anything else? Do you want to move? Do you want to do anything? Um. I can probably only move the 30 feet, kind of. I'm going to go get my, my big, beautiful axe. <laughs> talking just turns around. Just... I'll be back. <laughs> Get be axe. Back. I gotta do something. It's now not that the you're time properly for woken up, you were half asleep, so the curse didn't quite kick in. But now that you're properly awake, you're like, wait, no, my axe. This is all wrong. Um. Well, this guy is gonna attempt to. Stab a cleric. Mm. Oh, they both miss. Are people breaking them? This is the last we've ever seen of Trollbeck. Maybe not my house, it's fine. It's fine. Litrix is going to be really bad with a long sword. <laughs> Boris. <clears throat> All right. It doesn't matter who I attack. I get advantage. I get. Oh wait, no. You don't. You're not making me no. thinking. Okay. It's just this guy. It's just. Uh, mm. I could play that's an action. Guidance is an action. I could give Electric <laughs> <Lichix> guidance. <laughs> <laughs> he needs it. I badly can do it, but no. Uh, now I'm gonna swing my Warhammer at the blinded guy, of course, and what? try and knock him down. Alright. That's the attack. Marsh, yep, that and hits square in the chest. Um, let's see. Everything else is. That's an action, that's an action. Yeah, okay. Now that that'll actually a good move, but no. <clears throat> I'll stay where I am. Okay. That's it. Janice. Alright, I I'm just obviously seeing the, the guy in the hallway who I cast Hunter's Mark on just get knocked out, fall down. <laughs> so I'm like uh, and just kind of <laughs> hop over the couch, combat roll to the door and like put my back to the uh, like the the wall, kind of like check it out around the corner, and I see Litrix and, and Boris, I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put Hunter's Mark on this guy in between uh, Litrix. I just want a gif of Janice just continuously rolling in a circle in his room, <laughs> just. <laughs> and I'm gonna. The part is draining. <laughs> yeah. Take my bow out. I'm, I'm guessing that guy's been hit. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna longbow him once. 
And is he still up? Oh yeah, he's he's not really gotten a lot of damage yet. Good, I'm gonna go for his kneecap. Oh wait, sorry, that was uh, uh, meant to be without the 1d8 from Colossus Slayer. Um, so without the three. Got it. Well, he is starting to look pretty injured. I think the three is my proficiency, right? Um, Five is the dex, one is the bonus. No, no. Um, you have. Five is the dex, plus one is the bonus. You don't get proficiency to damage. Oh. The things in brackets are the ones Sorry. that you've rolled. Sorry, no, 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 yeah. I was looking at the exact roll, that's my bad. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, okay, no. cool. Um, um, and yeah, I'll end my turn here, just kind of like keeping my back to the wall. Alright, alright. <laughs> You're just casually closing the door so they don't have vision on you. <laughs> um, no, I'm not like casually closing the door. I'm just like kind of like making sure like they can't really they see cover. me. Like they can probably yeah. see a bit of me, but you'll get your cover. No worries. <laughs> um, this guy is still flailing around and trying to figure out why his opponent does not why there is no hit, and maybe he will start you know aiming a bit lower. Maybe that's a child. No. 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 Still big. That's a lot of nose. Hey, he's returned. I've acquired, I've acquired my axe. Yeah, I'm he got his axe. I am going to charge through the <sighs> Not in a, in a semi rage thing, I'm going to open the door for myself. Can I reach anyone? Damn. Mm. Actually. Knock him out and stole a gag. Let's, let's interrogate them out. and put them in jail. Yeah, I know, I've knocked this one out too. There's one more, or two more, right? It's time to kill. Stole gag. Thinks that you know he already knocked someone out, so he can murder everyone else. <laughs> we got the one. Goddamn berserker, fucking barbarian! I swear to God. <laughs> um. We have this. All right. Okay, Do you want to keep moving? Um, no, that's the one. Can if I throw a hand axe? You do have disadvantage, yes, but if you throw your hand axe at this guy, you can just roll normally because you would have an advantage on him. Okay. Throw him away for good. Ah! Yeah, it's no, it's, it's just not your axe, you know? It's just not the good axe. Really not. Um, this guy is not really liking where things are going. Um, he's gonna try and take out the cleric. I don't see what the problem is. Okay. You can, with the shield. you can just tell us all you know and we can, uh, you know, work something out. Fuck you. Put your tongue, oh. boy. <laughs> Litrix finally f phone through the provider. You can't get with someone else. All right, I'm back. Hey. Hello. Oh, apologies. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> it literally just dropped out for no reason. No idea why. All right. It's fine. Did I miss anything? Um. I just said a really cool joke. Yes. I'm not convinced. But... <laughs> you did miss a joke. A good joke. It's a good joke. Um, I should stop doing this and go back to the end. <clears throat> Janice, it is your turn. Alright, cool. Um, I'm going to just combat roll out the door. 
and I'm going to try and knock out this guy in between. Um, Ludwig's and Yeah, Ludwig's and Boris. Alright. Uh, once. Nimble your dodges out of the way. Twice. Wow. You see and a third the time? time? <laughs> Alright. You hit him and you think it should be enough and it like he just barely holds it together. He just almost goes down and then just catches himself on the wall and he's like, I'm not going down so easily. <sighs> well, I'm not so sure about that. Look pretty <laughs> pathetic <laughs> right now. <clears throat> um and then I will just Sorry. end my turn there. This guy gives up on trying to hit the uh, headless person he's fighting, and he sort of hears Janice's voice, stumbles over there, and tries to get Janice instead. <laughs> he should have gone the next one for his own sake. Yep. Once and twice. It's always time to test. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Can you feel it? Oh no, Stolge. Mm. <laughs> Winter is coming. Oh, it's my turn yep. Yes. <laughs> Can I even get through to these guys? Um, you are pretty bro blocked off. If you want, you can just grab Litrix and yank him behind him, behind you. Alright. That guy is also, like, really heavily wounded. You can just kill him by throwing Litrix at him. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you have to do it properly. You have Personally. Are you? I'm. I'm just asking. Are you trying to knock him out, or are you trying to murder? Oh. <laughs> All right. So, Hold okay, grabs Litrix, shoves him back, takes the axe, brings it down, and just slashes this guy in half. Very good. Yeah, no. Oh, Somehow, in his blind stupor, he manages... He manages to dodge out of the way. You know, he just has the ultra instinct. He will uh, normally. This guy's dead. Litrix, sort of. He's like, alright, alright, you know what? You do you. I'm fine then. And he's just not gonna do anything. I have this guy! <laughs> All right, he's gonna go over and tie up this guy, Boris. Yes, it is I indeed, and I'm going to uh, um, try and finish my job at saving this guy <laughs> by knocking him down and not letting Stoggy kill him. <laughs> Nobody dies on my watch, and that's gonna be an advantage for Hammer Bank. Oh, Jesus! Yup, that'll do it. Uh, you say that, you hit him again, square in, excuse me, square in the chest. Uh, but he's still standing. He's holding on. Oh, just please go down. <laughs> go down, please. <laughs> that's it. That, that's You're gonna die if you don't go down. <laughs> You'll die if you don't go down. <laughs> Janice. Well, my plan's gone to shit. So I'm just going to take out my um, short shorts, put Hunter's Mark on the dude right next to me, and I am just going to go and stab him right in the chest. Oh wait, that's meant to be with advantage, right? Yep, there you go. That is a stabby stab in his shoulder. He stumbles back. Still there? Alright. Oh yeah. And again. Ow. And you hit him again, and he looks extremely wounded, but he's still 
Oh, no. Look, I'm gonna grab my short sword and like just go to cleave off his head now. Um. Oh wait, that's not a bonus action to move it, right? Uh, actually, it is. Yeah, never mind. Well, the head stays on. The head stays on. <laughs> um. All right. This guy, he's blinded. He can't hear his friends anymore, and he is getting the feeling that this was all a very bad idea. So he is going to disengage and stumble backwards whence he came from. Trying to run away. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Ow. Alright, yup, yup. He, he's like, alright, you know, shade away. And Stroll Kick is like, nope. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> and Stroll Kick says, nope. And the head comes clean off and rolls on the floor. <laughs> well, right. I don't think the innkeeper's going to be too happy about this. No, he isn't. But, you know, fuck him. <laughs> you... You see the door behind you open and Steve puts his... his head out like, Sis? You alright? <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Steve. Go back inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. Just... Yep. Sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just like walk around, turn around, and just start going back to the room. And I wanna just grab this guy, put him like against the bed, like just back against the bed, and just like basically slap him awake. All right, um, you have two unconscious people. One was tied up by Littrix. Um, the guy we can take him too. Or should we keep them separated? No, bring him in. All right, I will do just that. Let's see what they have to say. Um, yeah, and this guy. Comfy couch. Good for my old bones. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and you slap him awake, and he's like, "Oh, yeah." Oh, what? What do you want? Uh, you actually noticed that all four of them were uh, drow, dark elves. Oh. Okay. Ah. Huh. Are they your relatives, Janice? <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Horus, I'm sorry, I'm going to put you in a bloody home soon. <laughs> <laughs> a home for elderly clerics. <laughs> Just for the elderly. I don't think anyone wants to hear the cleric part. <laughs> oh, we don't want clerics, no. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to take <laughs> clerics. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's not very kind to, you know, walk in on a man while he's sleeping. Or reading maps, I suppose, but we can either do this the hard way or we can do this the easy way. Which would you prefer? I'm really getting sick of doing this, but what would you like? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, with all these fucking interrogations. <laughs> uh, uh, he just spits on the floor. Uh, Stolgeg. <laughs> I think he's good. Now, I'm sure you see my friend just cleave off that, well, whatever that guy was, your friend, your brethren, I don't really care, but I'm sure you don't really want to be in the way of his axe anytime soon, would you? Um. Maybe we should use your friend as a puppet. Yeah, Stogger, why don't we pick him up and put him over in the, in the, on, the, on the other couch? You know, right in front of him, just so he can see. Put down the axe. Oh, come on, you're big enough to carry the man with one arm. 
<laughs> but I love it. Yes, you don't have to put it down. Just drag the nitwit. <laughs> put him on the couch. <laughs> So <clears throat> now let's 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 you know let's start off by being friends of course. <clears throat> Who sent you? He he just says um, in Elvish, uh, "Go to hell." Ah yes yes, been there actually. I, I actually just went there about a week ago. Not really a nice place. Came back because yeah, it's quite a shithole. But thank you. You know, thank you for the suggestion. Um, Pity. Should have stayed there. All right, stroll gig. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a toe off first? <laughs> okay, just one hand him up into the air. <laughs> Actually, you know, uh, what? you do what you deem fit. <laughs> <laughs> Boris is going to search for any amulets. Um, you do find two uh, amulets of Tharistun. Tharistun and what's a key? Do you want to see? You want to meet your makers? Oh my god. <laughs> Boris, what did you find? I found this! I showed the, am I showed the amulet. Have we seen like a symbol of Tharistun yet? It sounds familiar, yeah. Okay, yeah. Didn't we see it on the last one we sent to the meet their maker? Uh, yeah, also you uh, did some research. Okay. At some point. You're right. Ah, well, I guess, you know, I don't really need to find out who sent you because I know who sent you. You're part of those stupid cultists that keep trying to get us killed, aren't you? Oh, you must know the bard as well. <laughs> What else are you doing? <laughs> Still teaching he you? looks a bit confused, like looks past Janice to the dwarf and says, Bard? What are you on about? Yeah, I'm gonna turn my head and be like, Bard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember the Bard? On the island? It's not the I same group you, of The one you let go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Can I roll to intimidate and say, we're asking the questions here? Sure! Ah. Go ahead. Perfect. <laughs> um... Where's the bar? <laughs> um... Oh, I don't have advantage on it. It's fine, it's the same role. He just looks at you. You can't tell if he's in intimidated or not. He's pretty good at keeping, you know, a straight face. But he just again says, I don't know of any bars. I'm not really into music. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, we're getting sidetracked. I don't care about the bard, alright? We're not here about the bard. <laughs> Fuck the bard, alright? <laughs> this is well, a conversation between me you, the man over there, and my big musty friend, and possibly the cleric's amulet, which is no doubt going to happen at some point. Now, I'm really, really losing my patience already with this, okay? Now, what was your objective? Hurry the fuck up, or your friend starts losing something on his body. I don't know what yet. Well, if you know who sent us, then you know what we want, don't you? Yes, of course. Well, then why are you asking? I don't know. Maybe you might give me some more information. <laughs> he... he just mumbles. But he did it. How's about this? You give me something in regards to possibly the whereabouts of your cult, uh, or who sent you, like, leader-wise. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll let you go back to your cultist friends and let them know that you've been defeated once again because you're a bunch of pathetic pussies. How's that sound? He... It's either that... He looks... <laughs> or you simply get A, locked up, because I'm trying to win over the guard captain's favor right now, or B, you get your head chopped off, which honestly isn't so bad. 
You're a disgrace to elves. Really? Really? You went there? Really? I'm just gonna like slap him. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, you're, you're basically a peasant. You're working for someone else, probably for the shittest amount of gold. And you couldn't even do your job right. Look at you, it's pathetic. At least yeah, this we'll elf we'll kicked your ass. Alright, well, which is it then? Actually, I'm not even going to give you a choice. Dogeg, what do you want to do? I mean, I, I, I suggest we at least take the one with the smart mouth to the guard captain so he can sit in the cells for maybe, I don't know, the rest of his life or maybe be executed. And this other one, we can just execute ourselves. How does that sound? Okay. How about if we will see if this guy will fit into this tiny chest? Why? Bart. Can can we put him in the chest and deliver him to the guard captain like that? For safety, of course. Of course. For his own safety. Why? Why does the safety matter? <laughs> I mean, it's not very safe. It's quite cramped in there. I mean, they're assassins, they are fairly flexible, so you can probably make it work. Oh no, we'll just kind of snap some limbs and just okay. kind of like fold him up. Those. I have <laughs> this. It works. I can make it work. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, that definitely worked. Uh, but yes, you can put him in the chest uh yeah sure sure maybe Wait, is this the one we're delivering to the guard or the one we're killing uh, potentially killing so the other guy will see this get scared and talk to us you guys tell me i want to kill them both hang on <laughs> i've got an idea how about we shove the one we're going to kill into the chest and then the, we shove the the one we're going to offer to the guards you know on top of the one who's in the chest and then that's how we deliver it. Just apologize, things may have, you know, gotten a little damaged along the along the route here. So a man on top of a box as a delivery? Or a box on top of a box? No, 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 no. Man inside the box, dead. Oh. You know, and then yeah. on top of the man inside the box, the live man inside the box, close the lid. So both men inside the box. Yes. Precisely. Even I know the box doesn't have the volume for this. Can't we just like mash him, make him into a stew or something? We could. You you want to keep one alive though, that's what you keep so I mean I'll yes. do it. Yes, but I'll the one it. we kill we mash into a stew so there's enough room in the chest for him to just kinda of like sit in there. Also, Does the elf I seem to inside like the dude who, like, you know, we basically told we're gonna hand him to the guard and see how he's doing. Look, there's not gonna be enough space in the box with the soup. Trust me. <laughs> Roll me some intimidation check with advantage because that is one of the most psychopathic things I've heard in a while from you guys. Can I get titles because I'm also helping suggestion with suggestions? <sighs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Apparently, we're all very intimidating, even with our psychopathic ideas. <sighs> can I get guidance? <laughs> yes. You can all roll for guidance. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a little bit more intimidating now. <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> the assassin sort of... <laughs> watches you and the look on his face is a look you guys are very well very familiar with it's the same look litrix has whenever he's standing in the corner watching you and eating popcorn all right fine dog egg <laughs> shove him in the box not this oh, one the one we're going to kill this one we're still keeping alive right you could make soup, you could snap him into a cardboard, buddy, whatever, right? You just decide. You're the barbaric one. 